بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈاکٹر ذوالفقار احمد این اینڈوکرائنولوجسٹ ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈائبٹیز فلائٹس بیفور وی اسٹارٹ اور ڈسکشن پلیز سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ لائک مائی ویڈیو ڈائبٹیز فلائٹس از دا موسٹ پریولنٹ ڈیزیز ان دا ورلڈ اور آئی شوڈ سی ون آف دا موسٹ پریولنٹ ڈیزیز And I don't think there will be anyone who doesn't know about diabetes mellitus. So everybody has heard about it. So what really diabetes is? It's actually higher sugar levels in the blood. So there are certain limits when the sugar levels cross that one, we consider or we define that those levels as diabetes mellitus. So if you check your blood and you found out that in your blood the sugar levels are more than 126 and you have been fasting for the last 6 to 8 hours so you have diabetes if the blood levels are more than 126 and if you take a random sample or after eating 2 hours and your levels of the sugar in the blood are more than 200 so still you have diabetes mellitus and If during the fasting time your levels are not more than 126 but more than 100, so from 100 to 125, it is called pre-diabetes. And in the random sample, if the blood levels are more than 140 but less than 200, it is also pre-diabetes. There is another test which is called HbA1c, which tells us the glucose level over the last two to three months. So if the levels of HbA1c are more than 5.7 but less than 6.5, it is pre-diabetes. Once the levels cross 6.5 or 6, more than 6.5, it is uh, already diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus has, uh, as I told, that this is basically due to higher sugar levels. I hope everybody has heard about one organ in the body called pancreas. Pancreas actually secrete insulin and pancreas has two main cells, alpha cells and beta cells. So beta cells of the pancreas secrete insulin. Insulin is the hormone which regulates uh, glucose levels in the body. So type 1 diabetes is Uh, a type of diabetes when there is no insulin in the body so the glucose levels go up in type 2 diabetes insulin is there but the problem is that this insulin is resistant and it cannot push the uh, sugar from the blood into the cells so again the blood levels of the glucose rise and it uh, it is called as diabetes uh, type 2 gestational diabetes is the diabetes when the sugar levels are higher during the pregnancy another there is type of diabetes which is called modi that is maturity onset diabetes of young that is actually autosomal dominant disease uh, it's due to problem in the genes so there are different types depending which gene is involved moody type 1 type 2 type 3 and so on then diabetes can also occur due to some drugs like most of the antipsychotic drugs the drugs which are used in the mental diseases antidepressants steroids and so on so these drugs can also increase the level of sugar so that can cause Uh, diabetes also so there are different types as I discussed with you about uh, of the diabetes but the most common diabetes is type 2 diabetes type 2 diabetes is usually associated with some other problems as well and the most common among that is obesity there will be triglyceride levels may be high ldl may be high hdl may be low obesity means that you have a higher bmi 
BMI, that your fat is much abundant in your body. So your waistline may be more than, uh, I mean, the, the waistline will be more. So all this uh, different problem which are usually associated with diabetes is a, like a metabolic syndrome. It's also called insulin resistance. The people who have diabetes, their main problem is insulin resistance. So the patient may be having obesity, may be having uh, cholesterol levels are high. There may be some skin issues. It is called acanthosis nigricans. There is like velvety discoloration in the region of the axilla. Maybe it's in the neck, back of the neck, uh, other parts of the body. So these people are having insulin resistance. So what is insulin resistance? As I told you, the when we eat something, any glucose, carbohydrates, so it goes to the body when it reaches the stomach, then the intestine, one enzyme which is called GLP-1 that is released. And this enzyme then acts on beta cells of the pancreas from where insulin is uh, secreted. Then insulin acts on the uh, cells and lets let the glucose it enter from the blood into the cells. So this is what happens normally. And this insulin is secreted in small amounts all over 24 hours. This is called basal insulin secretion, which is about 50% of the total insulin secretion. And then when we eat and GLP goes up and then activates the beta cells and uh, those in is synthesize the insulin, this is this insulin is actually to decrease the blood sugar levels just when we eat because when we eat uh, carbohydrates then the glucose levels in the body will go up so to decrease those insulin uh, glucose levels insulin is secreted at that time this is like bolus insulin so it decreases the excursions of the glucose level after we eat so insulin has two types of secretions one is basal and one is bolus this is what normally happens but now we are talking about diabetes type 2 in which what happens that the insulin increases and initially it can uh, take the blood uh, sugar or glucose from the blood into the cells but the um, the more amount of the insulin will be needed but as the time passes the cells get full of glucose like one of the important uh, organ is the liver, which uses uh, uh, glucose and stores it uh, as glycogen. And glucose is also used in the muscle cells. So, and insulin is the one which helps in utilization of this uh, glucose. But as the sugar levels go up and up, more and more insulin is secreted. You can imagine that the liver may be full of the glucose and it transforms into the a bigger huge fatty liver no more in uh, glucose can enter in the liver and then there is overflow of the uh, overflow mechanism that makes the insulin resistant so now our bodies are producing more and more insulin but it is unable to push the glucose from the blood into the cells and continuously the sugar levels will be high and high. So this is what is insulin resistance. And because of this insulin resistance, there will be high levels of blood sugar, there will be fatty liver, there will be high triglycerides, and that's how uh, metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance develops. So the treatment should be not to increase, give extra insulin. That's what is actually we are 
taught in uh, traditionally that uh, insulin resistance uh, in, we, we already have insulin resistant but what we are taught is that give more insulin but giving more insulin hasn't solved the problem yet so that's what we are having the issue now the new research shows that the treatment is not to give extra insulin but first thing is to decrease the intake of insulin uh, decrease the intake of uh, carbohydrates which are converted into glucose so take less carbohydrates and then something we should do that this insulin resistance should come down so one of the thing which is coming in in the research is fasting that when you fast and you don't eat after few hours of fasting there is ketosis then instead of the, the before the ketosis starts actually when we are fasting the body will utilize all the glycogen glycogen is the storage form of the glucose so the body will start using the glycogen so after glycogen is uh, used ketones will be made from the fats and these ketones then will bring about the changes which will increase the growth hormone and decrease the insulin levels so as the hours of fasting are increased the insulin levels will be reducing and when insulin levels reduce insulin becomes more sensitive and then it will be able to push the glucose from the cells from the blood to the cells so this is a new research uh, which is going on traditionally what we were taught that insulin resistant give more insulin so that is actually not helping the people so people with the diabetes they are having more and more complications what we are just doing is we are not removing the glucose from the body but just pushing the glucose in the eyes in the kidneys in the heart in the nerves in, in, in different parts of the body it same like if you if you think of a example that uh, if you have a garbage in your house so what you do is you are not throwing the garbage out of the house but you start putting it in the under your carpet uh, under in, in your bathroom uh, in different parts of the house so your kitchen may be clean but the whole of your house will be full of the garbage so same thing until now how the diabetes was being treated is doing that we are removing the glucose from the blood but we are depositing it in different parts of the body so there are complications due to diabetes on the uh, eyes heart kidneys nerves everywhere so the new medical science is coming now new research is coming which uh, which really uh, which really stresses and which really uh, gives importance to remove this sugar first less sugar to be taken less carbohydrates like with fasting or like there were drugs actually a uh, carbos which was used initially which were used but then um, pharmaceutical companies forgot about it so no more research was done a carbos was actually decreasing the absorption of carbohydrates from the intestine so that was a wonderful drug yeah it, it it causes flatulence it can cause some gi symptoms but that does the other so many drugs sulfonylureas what they are doing they are increasing they are they are they are pushing the beta cells to do more work and to uh, secrete more insulin which beta cells are already damaged and same way now you know there are new drugs SGL2 inhibitors are there in a way it's good because what they are doing is that the sugar the glucose is taken out of the body in the form of urine so it goes out from the urine so but if you will take less carbohydrates so maybe you don't need any drug so right now I can say the diabetes mellitus is no longer a chronic progressive disease but diabetes mellitus is a reversible disease it's a dietary disease 
So it should be treated with the proper diet, that is low carbohydrate diet and fasting and managing your lifestyle. We will be discussing these things one by one. So uh, now I stop my video and later videos we will be discussing uh, these different issues. Thank you.